Hey guys, it's your girl Shelly here and welcome back to my channel, What's a Guam Bombshell Squad. As you guys already seen from the thumbnail and the title of today's video, we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's looking pretty lengthy. But what we want to talk about today, guys, is me starting over in my 30s and starting over from fresh. You know, what is life like in my mid-30s starting over from fresh versus when I made an attempt at life in my 20s, where I was then, what I've learned and where I am now. Right now, I'm just starting out with my brows. As you guys can see, the entire video will not be a full voiceover video. I'm only doing a little bit of a voiceover for the beginning because my sister had called me and her and I were on the phone having a conversation and when I tell you we were cr I was crying not even her she was making me laugh so much and um, I didn't want to cut the conversation short because she really wanted to just talk about something she wanted to vent and get something off her chest when it comes to work and some struggles that she was having with her job so you guys know when it's family time sometimes you just gotta be available and just make time so I just wanted to make the time for her because she was actually at work and she wanted to have a conversation with me and she stepped out and told her boss she was going to take a break and her boss gave her a half an hour to take and me and her were on the phone for 45 minutes. I had to tell her like, girl, it is time for you to get back to work before you get called in the principal's office. So that's pretty much why I wasn't really talking throughout this period of the video because I was dedicating some time to her. So I did my brows the way how I love them. I know a lot of people tell me that my brows look thick when I do them this way, but that's how I like my brows. And I just had to use this ice roller that I just took out of the freezer that was freezing cold to just de-puff my face because when I tell y'all that I've been dealing with some puffiness, my face has been looking a little puffy from the other day. So if you're struggling with any kind of puffiness in your face underneath your eyes i highly recommend getting a ice roller i have this one linked in my amazon store or if you don't want to spend any money just get a bowl grab some ice fill the bowl with ice and water where the water is really really cold and then just dip your face in it and you can do that like every morning and that will help you to de-puff your face we are having another storm right now. Why? I have no idea. I have no idea why we have another storm right now. I was hearing like the walls were kind of crying and I'm like, what's going on? Only for me to walk outside and there's another storm out there. So we're still going to do what we do because certain things we can't control when it comes to mother nature she's going to do whatever she does she's going to take her course i just went and made me some ginger tea i have no business drinking tea right now with the temperature that's inside my house but i just turned on the air condition because i just could not take it anymore it was just so hot so i just need the house to cool down a little bit and then i could turn it back off i don't really love the the air i know a lot of people once it's warm they cannot do without air condition i'm not one of those people i can stay in a house that's warm as long as i have a fan but right now where i'm at in the closet there's no fan in here and if i use like my other little fan that i have it's gonna you're gonna hear it in the microphone and i don't want to do that so i just turned on the air just a tad bit i'm using the kombucha facial treatment from fresh beauty that's what I'm using right now as my toner. And I only have this tiny little mirror here, so that's the only thing that I have to use to see what I'm doing. I'm still breaking out a whole lot on this side of my face and then a few on the forehead, not too much, just a few. I told you guys in my last vlog, if you watch my vlog that I posted on Sunday or Monday, look how my hair curled up right here already that i pretty much stopped my intermittent fasting that i was doing because i just need to have something in the morning it doesn't have to be like a big breakfast but i started making 
like egg sandwiches because I love me an egg sandwich. So I was like, let me make an egg sandwich in the morning and then I could skip lunch and then I'll eat dinner and I'll try to eat dinner by like seven. So I still control how I'm eating. But tell me how I um, started eating cheese with my egg sandwich and I broke out. <laughs> right when I worked for like five months to clear my skin, I broke out. And I'm breaking out like bad on this side. Like it's turning into a whole bunch of systematic acne. I could feel it underneath my skin. It feels very hard. And you know, systematic acne are the acne that it's even harder to pop. Like some of them, you can't even pop them. You just gotta let them be until they decide to go away. And systematic acne can be on your face sometimes for up to like three weeks. I have this little fan right here. So I gotta use it momentarily to cool myself down because it is very warm. I can't even start drinking this tea right now because for one, it's too hot and two, it's gonna make me even hotter. Let's dive into what we wanna talk about today. I wanna talk about starting over in your 30s, okay? That's pretty much what I'm experiencing at this point in my life right now. And I feel like it's not talked about a lot, but if I should go back and talk to my younger self, my younger 25 year old self when I got married and when I was like, God, I need to have all my kids before I'm 30. If I don't have all my kids by the time I'm 30, I don't want to have any kids. Those were my words. And the reason why you hear people talk about all the time, word has power. Be careful what you say because you never know. It could come right back around and slap you in the face. Because when I was 25, I always tell myself, I'm sorry guys, I have to use a fan, I'm so hot. I always tell myself, once I turn 30, my life needs to be set to a way where I'm financially stable. I have my family set in stone. I already have my kids. Me and my husband is already locked in. You know what I'm saying? That's the life that I saw for myself. That's where I envisioned my life after 30. And that's what I thought it was going to be because, you know, we think we know everything. We think we know everything. But now that I'm in my thirties, I'm in my mid thirties, I'm starting all over again. I would slap 25 year old Shelly in the face and tell her girl, go sit down. Okay. Cause you don't know nothing in your twenties. You don't know what you're talking about. Now that doesn't apply to everyone. Let me make that very clear because I don't want anyone come in the comments and say, not because you didn't succeed in your 20s, that means that nobody else is gonna succeed in their 20s. I got married when I was 21 and I'm 40 and my husband and I are still together. You know what I'm saying? Like I get so much backlash on my content on a daily basis on certain things it's just like so annoying to me because i'm just a young girl trying to figure it out and i feel like especially from women of color and women from my own country they are the ones who beat me up the most and especially like now that i'm starting to share um the intimate part of my life which is my relationship i get a lot of backlash on that and i'm just like why why don't you think that two people can live in two different continents and love each other enough where they are faithful to each other and they're going to have a successful relationship because God is in the center of it all? Why is it so hard to believe? You know, like it just it's just very annoying to me and it's one thing like if one day I wake up and I decide that I'm not gonna share my personal life online anymore you guys know why it's because of the haters because I don't want to have to deal with them and I'd rather keep that part of my life which is so happy I would prefer to keep it sacred to myself anyways I want to keep track of the products that I'm using so I just used a combination of the snail mucin and the snail olive one cream I absolutely love these products they hydrate my skin so much and my skin also really 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 enjoy these products so that's what I use on my face and what I'm noticing is now that I'm starting to do a lot more makeup again and stuff like that even though I don't like to do makeup on my face when I have breakouts my skin loves when it's fully hydrated before I put makeup on top of it so let me cool down again oh child it is hot can't imagine 
when I start going through my menopause, child, I'm going to need the AC on 100. I'll probably move back to New York when I start going through my menopause because I can't take the heat. <laughs> I'm just joking. I absolutely love the heat, but sometimes the heat could drive you crazy. I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip primer. I love this primer on my face. I, you only need like one to two pumps. You really don't need a lot of this primer, even though some people use so much of it. You really don't need a lot. And I'm just doing my makeup to promote my brand. So I don't need to use like too much primer, but back to the topic of hand at life in your 30s starting over. I feel like once you hit your mid thirties, you know what you want. As far as you know what you want when it comes to a relationship, you know what you want when it comes to career, you know what you want when it comes to like somewhere where you want to reside, where you would like, where you could see yourself living. I feel like once you hit your mid thirties, like things become much more clearer compared to my mid thirties now. And then when I was in my mid twenties, I feel like back then my mind was a lot more clouded. You know what I'm saying? And my 25 year old self would have told you that I know exactly what I want. And I feel like I knew what I want when I was in my 20s. I just settled for what I got. I must say that. I knew what I wanted when I was in my 20s, but I settled for what I got. Using the NYX Born to Glow Foundation, and this is in the shade. Coco, I absolutely love this foundation. It's a drugstore foundation. It's it's a beautiful foundation for you to wear, like if you want to wear a foundation on an everyday basis and you want something that's a little bit more affordable, something that's going to give you coverage, you can build it up based on your liking. So if you just want something lightweight like a serum, you know, I feel like you can definitely use this. In my opinion, do your, does your skin peek through this foundation? It can if you use it light-handed. I like a more heavier coverage. Therefore, I'm going to use a lot of makeup because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and breakouts. And they, they need to be covered. Like, I don't want to be wearing makeup. And you can see my dark spots between my skin. Another thing that I can definitely tell you guys, um, being in my 30s now and taking control over my life and not settling for anything less, it's a whole different feeling. Let me tell you something. It's a whole different feeling. And what I mean by that is for when I was in my 20s and... I was dealing with whatever I was dealing with, there was always a part of me that was never happy and was never satisfied. There were a lot of times where I was not happy and then there were a lot of things that I was not satisfied with and that's not a good feeling to have when you're trying to just live. You know what I'm saying? It's a horrible feeling to have. The feeling of like, I'm just settling for whatever I have right now because it's working for me. So to anyone that's watching this video, if you feel like you are settling, I can relate to what you're feeling and I know exactly how it feels. You have to make the decision of do you want better or are you willing to live the rest of your life that way? Within oneself, it takes a lot of hard work to just wake up one day and decide, I want better for my life. I want something different. And the difference that I want in my life, I'm going to work towards it and I'm going to go towards it. So for me and how I got to where I am right now is a lot of prayer, first of all a lot of prayer like when i show you guys my prayer journal i have between three to four prayer journals and when i i took my prayer journals out the other day because i was like a lot of times when we pray for things we forget what we pray about and i really wanted to know what my prayer life looked like when i was in my 20s i save all my prayer journals i will never get rid of them i will save them for the rest of my life so i wanted to know all the things that I used to pray about, and if you're a person of faith, you know exactly what I mean. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we'll pray for things and then we're like, did I even pray for that? Like, you know, and that's the reason why 
For me, I like to write down a lot of my prayers because then I can go back and relate to them. So I went through my prayer journals the other day and I was reading through my prayer journals. And what I found in my prayer journals was, was that all of my prayers were almost the exact same. Every time, every day, for years, I'm praying about the same exact thing. And I'm like, when you pray, God, he answers, he hears you. You know what I'm saying? And this is the reason why it's important for you to build that connection with Christ because when he speaks to you, you can hear him. And for years, I feel like I kept praying about the same thing and God was giving me the same answer. Yet every time I prayed after that, I accepted for him to change the answer and say something else. And that's not how God works. Like whatever he wants for you, he's going to let you know and you're going to have to figure out do you want to listen to him or do you just want it to be your way and that's it because when you want things to be your way versus you're following the way of god it's going to be a whole complete different thing one of the things that i feel like i always pray about is knowledge and understanding and knowledge and understanding is a powerful thing very powerful thing i feel like that's one thing that everybody should pray for this is the born this way concealer in mocha when you pray and you seek god and you ask him for something and he give you the answer as to what you know you're praying about i feel like a lot of times we kind of expect to get a different answer even though we prayed about it 10 times already and the answer was the same we expect to get a different answer so we still keep praying about the same thing and i feel like that's the pattern that i noticed in my prayer journals i was always praying about the same thing and some of the things i can share with you guys i was praying about getting out of debt i was i was praying about especially especially my student loan debts and my credit card debts those are two things that i was always praying about i kept praying about like getting a closer relationship with God. I kept praying about like reading my reading my Bible a lot more. I kept praying about understanding the Bible because when it comes to me and my walk and my um, when it comes to me and my walk with Christ, everyone has a weakness and everyone has their strengths. And one of my weaknesses is understanding the Bible. I can read the Bible for days, but if you ask me something that I read about this morning. I can't even tell you anything about what I read. And that was my struggle for years. And that's one thing that I kept praying about for years. And, you know, whenever you go back and you read whatever you pray about, at some point, you have to get convicted about certain things and wonder, you know, why is it that I keep praying about the same thing, but I feel like I'm not getting any results. And if you don't feel like you're getting any result when it comes to your prayer, it's because you haven't changed. If you haven't gotten any result from a prayer that you've been praying for over and over again, it's, it could possibly be because you yourself have not changed. And I looked into myself and I was like, you know, I wanted to get out of student loan debt because I feel like I've been carrying this debt for years and it's still something that I'm struggling with. My student loan debt is still something that I struggle with. And the reason why I'm not getting any kind of result, any kind of change is because I feel like I'm expecting one day for it to magically disappear. And not that it, not that it can't, but at the same time, it's like, what am I doing about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I doing? So I was hoping that, you know, when Joe Biden got elected, he would have did us all a favor and clear all our debts because that's what I thought he was going to do. But turns out that he has canceled a lot of debt, but he pretty much focused on like, let's say you had your debt for 50 years and you've been paying it or whatever the case is like, they had specifications on whoever debt they were going to clear off, whoever they were going to help. And when I looked at the qualifications, I was not in the category of getting my student loan debt cleared off because for one, my debt, according to them, is not that old. And two, they were favoring like police officers, teachers, doctors, not, I don't know if doctors and lawyers were involved because their salaries are so high. 
but they had like I guess like people that work government jobs like they had first priority to getting their debt cleared off so that was a little bit annoying and frustrating and we're still stuck here with all this debt I'm gonna cream contour I never skip cream contour I absolutely love cream contour and I know my concealer needs to be blended out a little bit more but we're gonna blend it out after we cream contour I'm gonna use the black radiance foundation stick and I'm using this in the shade 6825 I bought like four different concealer sticks within like the past month or so and this is the cheapest one and this is the one that I love the most all the other ones I bought one from Fenty I bought two from LYS Beauty the first time I bought it I bought it in the darkest shade and it was way too dark and then now I change it to the next shade which works for me but I just feel like it blends right out I don't feel like I see anything on my skin so I bought that and then there's a third one that I bought but I, I have it in the office and I don't remember what brand it is but this one I absolutely love this one the most I feel like it shows up most on my skin tone it shows up the most. I love the undertone of it because I like for my makeup undertone to be red. Okay, let me take a quick snack break. <gasps> I hope this video is not too long because then you guys are going to get annoyed with me. But Another thing that I love about myself that I'm experiencing currently versus other people this is this just goes for me i know everyone's situation might be a little bit different but um as far as me being in my 30s now i feel like i take much better care of myself than i did in my 20s i feel like i didn't take as much care of myself and i'm talking about physically i'm talking about physically and i still can do a lot better but i do like how i take pride into taking care of myself in my 30s better than when i was in my 20s and anybody can tell you that no that knew me when i was in my 20s i took really good care of myself like i always like kept myself together kept myself up as far as getting my hair done i was never a, too too much of like a big nails person so my fingernails and stuff like that would be clean would be groomed sometimes but i wasn't like i had to have my nails done i get my nails done now because i like how my hands look with them but when i was in my 20s I was never a big nail person, but I would still get my nails done occasionally. But as far as body care, I feel like I do a better job now externally versus when I was in my 20s. Even though I feel like I did a good job in my 20s, I feel like now in my 30s, I do a better job of just taking care of myself. In my 20s, yeah, I had a skincare routine. And my skincare routine that I've had now is probably like seven years. So I feel like later on in my 20s, I started taking care of my skin. But like earlier in my 20s, I didn't do such a good job. My skin was terrible back then. Um, I feel like I do a better job now as far as like my underarms, my bikini area. I make sure that I wax at least every six weeks. Waxing works for me better versus shaving, especially down there with the cap. I don't know if any other woman is like this. I know we're all different, but for me, I love waxing. I gotta turn on the fan a little bit, you guys. I am hot. I love waxing. So back then, in my 20s, what I used to do is I used to shave in my 20s. And when I shaved in my 20s, especially my underarms and my cat, when I shave, I used to have really, really, really bad hair bumps. And when I tell you hair bumps, I had big hair bumps. They were clumpy. They were like pussy sometimes. And I didn't realize that my skin does not like razors as far as like shaving in those areas. My legs, I could shave all day, any day. I don't have any problem with shaving my legs. But when it comes to like my underpits and down there with the cat, it used to look bad <laughs> like when I say it, it used to look bad it looked bad and I'm so mad at myself that it took me so long to realize that my skin does not like shaving so I've been waxing now for quite a few years since I'm in my 30s I started waxing but when I was in my 20s I'm so mad that I didn't pick up on that that my skin just didn't like shaving another thing that I can definitely say is expectations in relationships 
that's a big one for me that I want to that I want to point out. And when I say expectation in relationships, I knew what I wanted and this is what I mentioned earlier, I just settled for what I got. And there are certain things that I desire to have, but when you're young and you're blinded by a lot of things, it's like you just tell yourself it is what it is and there's nothing out there that's better. And I feel like I did that for quite some time and it's something now that when I think about it, it's it's damaging mentally and I'm just like, why did I do that? Like, why wasn't I brave enough to say no to a lot of things and not accept certain things? Like, why wasn't I brave enough? You know what I'm saying? And if you're watching this in your 20s now, I feel like, especially if you have a close relationship with God and if you believe him like you say you do, you would know that what he has for you is gonna feel like it's the love of God, you know? And I feel like that's one thing that I struggle with because one, I was much younger. I want to say in some senses that I didn't know better, but then I feel like I knew better. I just didn't have any strength. I didn't have any strength. And then I also want to note that when you pray and you believe in God and you want things to be your way, like I was mentioning before to you guys, you're going to just continue to pray about the same thing you know what i'm saying so i just added a little bit more concealer because i like when my under eyes is a little bit more brighter than just looking like i'm wearing a natural beat and this is the huda beauty setting powder in the shade kunafa they have so many new shades i want to get like the pink setting powder but chow makeup is so expensive you guys i can't even i walked into Sephora the other day and got like three things and it was like 150 like where did time fly when did we spend 350 on three makeup products i'm gonna take my makeup puff this is from happiness cosmetics this is the mini version i'm just gonna take this and set underneath my eyes i always tap off the access i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty bronzers today and i'm using the shade coco naughty and mocha mommy mocha mommy for all over the face coconati for just the bridge of the nose because i don't like when my nose contour looks too sharp i like for it to look very faded but you know kind of crisp i'm gonna do cream blush but i never remember to do it i'm gonna put that cream blush on my powder and see how it looks today because i excuse me i feel like whenever i put cream blush on with within my bronzer concealer type thing i feel like it never shows up on my skin tone for some odd reason i don't know if it's just me but i am so happy with how confident i am being a woman being a black woman you know we are full of so so much confidence we are so much more bold and we're just not taking a lot of the shit that we used to take back in the days i'm sorry to say it like that and i don't mean to curse but i feel like as black women we don't take no shit from nobody okay we are confident and we are rocking that look who's calling you guys it's babe hello babe <laughs> Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm still on. I want to mess up my meme with it. Is that so? What happened? I'm still skinny. I'm still skinny. Why? I'm still skinny. Hold on, I'm gonna put the right speaker. I'm still skinny. No man. Is that true? Is that true? Yes. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Is that true, babe? Yes, that is true. You are very stingy with me. You're not know, like sheer. Huh? You are very stingy with me. You don't like sheer. Yes, that is true. I said yes. You are very stingy. Yes. I am filming later. All right. Love you. I'm in the middle of filming.
Okay. Okay. How I know you had to call me on video. You had to call me on video. How I know you was gonna do that. Say hi. Say hi to the video. No. <laughs> you always hide in your face. I can't. Yeah, you see how he is? He likes to hide from y'all, but it's okay. Because one of these days, he's not going to be able to hide anymore. Okay. One of these fine days, I'm not going to hide from him anymore. Like, the amount of DMs that I get on a daily basis of just people telling me that I motivate them and I just, like, they look to me for inspiration. Not that I, I would never say that I never thought that people would look to me for inspiration, but I never thought that so many people would look to me for inspiration. And it's just, it's just wild to me. Like it blows my mind. Like it's crazy. Uh, and that's just all through my content. And I do a lot of cleaning, de decor, lifestyle and stuff like that. Like I, my, my content is focused around that right now and I feel like I didn't know that the outpour of love when it comes to just people being inspired by me I never even know that so many people would be inspired by me like I decided to take social media seriously not not that I didn't take it seriously before but from everything that I was going through with social media like last year I was like I'm going all in and I prayed about it and God was like go for it like go all in and I went all in and within a year within one year across four platforms I've grown almost 300 thousand followers i'm gonna use the juvia's place blush in lily love that's what it looks like it's like a peachy orally oral coral i said oral it's like a coral tone um, blush i like the color i just always feel like it never shows up on my skin tone and why do i feel like my concealer is breaking apart right here <gasps> oh wow it's because it's so hot and i'm sweating i'm gonna fix it later you guys don't worry about it i'm gonna fix it later i don't know if you guys can see it but my my concealer right here completely lifted off which is that's weird that tells you how hot i am like i'm so hot oh look how bright that is i did not expect that much this is a lot of blush i'm not afraid of this blush because for one, when you put this blush on, I feel like it always blends away and you don't get to see a lot of it. So I'm just gonna use the butt of my beauty blender to blend it out. Yeah, I'm not afraid of this blush at all because it blends away. I don't know if you guys can see that. It came down way too far than I wanted it to, but that's not nothing that we are afraid of but that because that can always be fixed i told y'all see how much it calmed down this blush even though it's so pigmented it's not nothing to be afraid of because it could always be fixed i am proud of the woman that i'm becoming let me say that i am proud of the woman that i'm becoming because with all the struggles that i've had in my life and with everything that i've had to deal with i'm proud of the woman that i'm becoming because she is more she's just more confident she's just more sure of what she wants i'm going to use the saharan blush volume one palette from juvia's place i've had this for decades i still use it i probably shouldn't it, it's probably expired but it still works so that's what we're using <laughs> i like to mix two shades i like to mix um zane and neo the pink and the the red shade I like to mix these two and it just gives me like the most beautiful blush ever. I love a lot of blush. I don't like for my face to look like I barely have any blush on it. Like I love a lot of blush. So if my blush looks a little bit overbearing, that's how I like it. And that's how your makeup should be, you guys. If you if you do your makeup or if you're just getting into makeup, however you like for your makeup to look, that's how your makeup should look. Okay, that's the number one rule of wearing makeup. Little lighting that I was using on top of my camera 
that light died maybe i should plug it in right now so it could charge in the meantime so i went and got the professional lights i went and got my ring light so that's probably why it looks way much more brighter set my overall face with the mac studio fix setting powder now this is the mac mineralized skin finish powder and this is in the shade dark deepest i just like to take this on my powder puff this is from happiness cosmetics as well this is from my brand you can find the link in my bio I like to use this powder all over my face because I feel like it makes my face look so smooth. You know, it gives you that airbrush finish, which I really do like. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and dab that all over the lid. Because my lid is very dark, so in order for color to show up on my lid, I gotta add concealer there. I'm using the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette, and I first took the color Riff, which is this nude shade right here and then i'm gonna go in with this burgundy shade which is hell ride and that's the two shades i think that i'm gonna just stick today and just dust on my eyes i'm not trying to do nothing too crazy on the eyes just a little bit of something the change begins with you like you have to do something different to get wherever you want to be you have to do something different to live the life that you want to live and when they tell you that it first starts in the mind it literally first start in the mind because once it's in the mind then you will act towards it you know what i'm saying and i'm not sitting here and telling you guys that i have it all together i don't have it all together there's still a lot of things in my life that i struggle with a lot a lot of it i might not show you on camera but that doesn't mean that my life is fake you know what i'm saying a lot of people talk about oh what you see on social media is fake and it's not real and people are not being real my life is very much so real. I don't come online and and pretend like I'm a rich person. You guys see me scrubbing toilets and moving my two pieces of decor that I have around and around the house. And I'm not even going to say two pieces because I would never downgrade what I have like that. But you guys don't see me every day partying, going places. I'm taking a trip every other month. And I'm doing all these Chanel unboxing, Louis Vuitton unboxing, unboxing all of these luxury things. I don't desire those things. Neither can I afford them. You know what I'm saying? And I can't afford them at the moment. But who to tell if within a year I'm going to be able to afford them. And by then when I can afford those things, I'm pretty sure that I'm not saying that I wouldn't spend $2,000 on a Chanel bag, but my desire is not to have a full closet of Chanel bags. You know what I mean? Like I see a lot of females online that that's their desire. That's what they love. That's what they want to have. I desire family. I desire I desire for my family to be okay. I see a lot of people, they have made it in life and they're living large and they have family members that are struggling. Like the day when I can afford to buy a $2,000 bag, my family should not be in the place of struggle. There's no way I'm gonna go and give Chanel $2,000 and then I have a family member right here that I could help. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just not, that's just not where I am mentally and I've never actually been there. Like I don't desire to work so hard and just spend all my money on f having a Louis Vuitton $2,000 sandals. Like I would rather buy the replica. I'm sorry. That's just, and that's just me. That's just who I am. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like life just looks different for everyone and everybody should just appreciate where they're at appreciate what they have and work towards what you want like i want to be able to afford 20 chanel bags you know what i'm saying i want to be able to do that but if i'm going to get there like there's certain sacrifices that i have to do there's certain things that i have to do and then at at the point where i'm at in my life like i want to be happy with doing what i'm doing you know what I'm saying? I want to be happy, even if I have to be, you know, live below my means for a couple of years. I want to be able to be comfortable, to be happy in my life with a lot of things. If 
you're looking at me like you're so much better than where I am right now. Just know that I've been through a lot, you guys. Like, I've been through a whole lot. And I have mentioned to you guys before, if you follow me and you watch my videos, especially within this year, you know that I was married for seven years. You know that I went through a divorce. You know that I used to live in New York. I have all my, I have my families there. I have family all over the United States. But you know that I pretty much packed my bags and I moved to Houston pretty much alone. Like for the most part, I've been alone being here. Like my mom was here with me for a little while, a little while, and then she left. You know what I'm saying? So I've pretty much been on my own from last year to this year, you can say. I have a partner that's not where I am at the moment, and I'm just trying to make the best of it. I'm trying to make the best of it. I've never lived on my own before. So living on my own now is definitely like an eye-opening it's a different experience and I'm appreciating this time by myself and that's the reason why I'm just doing things that I enjoy and just trying to live wow I feel like I want to cut my crease it's giving you need to cut the crease honey I cut my crease but I wasn't gonna do too much with this and then I end up doing a whole crease I intended to do but yet this is what happened you see what happened when you stray away from what you're trying to do what I think I can improve as far as me being now in my 30s is realizing that Shelly, you're getting much older and you need to do a much better job of taking care of yourself internally. Okay, internally, I feel like I don't do a great job of taking care of myself as far as what I eat, taking the right supplements, taking vitamins, making sure that I do like all my checkups. Like I haven't done a pap smear in years. I haven't done like, I need to get my, when was the last time I got my breast checked? I haven't got my breast checked in a while. So I feel like I need to get my breast checked I need to go to a pap smear I need to just I need to take care of myself internally I did a I did a physical checkup um, recently so that was fine I went and got blood work done so that's how I found out that my cholesterol just spiked a little bit high I don't know if that could have been from what I was eating that day or what I ate the day before it could possibly be but he said that my cholesterol numbers just came back a little bit abnormal and then um, my blood tested that I was pre-diabetic which my blood had been testing that I was pre-diabetic for years because I suffer from PCOS but now that I'm a lot older like 20s versus 30s i need to buckle down like you need to buckle down for certain things i know so the older you get in an age the body now goes continue to perform the same way so certain things we used to do in your 20s and we used to eat in your 20s you can't do that in your 30s so that's what i feel like i need to work on personally for myself so internally i feel like i need to work on that a lot more i just love my relationship with god i feel like i love the fact that i go to him for everything and i love the fact that i trust him through everything that i'm going through because i feel like that's one of the hardest things that a lot of us face as young adults we don't you know trust god through the hard times and you don't necessarily have to be someone that's rich to not have hard times i feel like some of the people that have some of the hardest times in their life is people with wealth you know what i'm saying i feel like whatever stage i'm at in my life i just need to trust god you know whether my life look how I want it to look. I just need to trust God through it all. And that's one of the things that I must say that I'm proud of the most about myself is the fact that no matter how hard things get, no matter how it looks like, you know, it doesn't look how I want it to look. I am so glad i'm so excited that i have a god that i trust and i know that when the time is right when he sees fit when he sees me ready he's going to provide all my needs you know what i'm saying and he's already providing all my needs i have a life I have a, I have a family that love me in abundance like I have a village around me that loves and cares about me a lot of people struggle with that in life and I'm very happy that that's not one of my struggles of just having family members who love and care for me having having friends that I can pick up the phone and call and we can sit on the phone and chat all day I just love the life that I have though it doesn't look how I per se wanted to look you know when I saw myself in my 30s I never Never saw myself like this living single living alone much less living in a whole brand new state pretty much on my own you know what I'm saying I have family
family members that I can drive to their house, but I'm literally on my own. And I'm just so grateful to God because I could have been, it could have been a lot worse. Like I've seen people that are mentally like ill, like they're just not themselves because of just not making that change for themselves in their life and just trying to chase their dreams and trying to focus on the thing that makes them happy. And that's another thing too that I want to point out is I love the fact that I'm going after my dreams. So many people have so much fear in their life. So many people just feel like they can't do it. So many people don't even have the resources to do it. I have the resources to chase my dreams and a lot of times we too much focus on the physical part of it and not focus on the mental part of it like you got to get it here first and once you get it here first everything else will fall into line I promise you like when I let me tell you guys something when when I decided to to step out on faith and get out of my situation that I was in before. I didn't know what that would look like. I didn't know how I was going to pay my bills. I didn't know if I could have managed on my own. I did not know what that looked like. And I stepped out on faith. When I moved to Texas, I didn't know what it was going to look like. And I stepped out on faith. Like I didn't have anything set up here. I never, I have not worked a nine to five since I've been here. I have not worked a nine to five. I was like, God, I'm stepping out on faith and I'm trusting you to do the rest. And trust me, he has done the rest. He has provided in every way that I could possibly think. If I, in any way that I needed, God made a way for me. And that's the one thing that I can encourage you guys to just step out on faith. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people, when people get out of situations, it's like they think that their life is over and they never try again. Like I challenge you guys to go for it, like to try again. If that's how you are in your life and you just feel like you're sleeping on your dreams. Like why, why give up? Why not try, you know? And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy and it's not going to look like how you want it to look. It's not. But when I tell you guys it is worth it, it is so worth it to chase your dreams. It is so worth it to wake up every day and just to feel happy. It is so worth it. Like, take it from me when I tell you, it is so, so, so worth it. From someone that used to wake up and be so unhappy, it is so worth it waking up not every day and feeling happy. You know what I mean? And you know one thing that I want to mention too in this video? A lot of things that you could possibly be feeling if you're feeling sad, if you're not feeling like you're being fulfilled, a lot of times it doesn't have anything to do with the next person. I feel like a lot of times we blame the next person for what we're going through. And even though people around you could be the reason why a lot of things are not the way they are in your life, a lot of it has to do with you. A lot of it has to do with you. It doesn't have anything to do with anyone else. My lip gloss is, of course, from Happiness Cosmetics. A lot of things that I had struggled with when I was in my 20s and then in my early 30s didn't have anything to do with other people. It had everything to do with me, me not being confident enough, me not being bold enough and me not being strong minded to wake up every single day and go after the things that I desire. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times I feel like we we find ways to blame the next person. You guys, I need 500 followers to hit 100 on IG. If you had told me last year that I was going to hit 100,000 followers on IG this year, I would have told you, stop lying. I would have told you, you are a liar from the pit of hell. thought I was going to be at my little 20K. That's where I thought I was going to be, my little 30K, my little 40K. To see that pretty much 100,000 of you guys decide to follow me on IG and TikTok and Instagram, mind-blowing. Mind-blowing, okay? Mind-boggling. Any advice for, I'm going to do my lashes in a minute, but I wanted to finish up the video by saying any advice that I would give anyone that's starting over in your 30s, what I would say is to pray. 
wake up every single day, make sure that you pray, connect with God. Um, and your prayer life might not be consistent, but I would say try to make it as consistent as you possibly can. And it's baby steps, you know, especially if you're not a person that used to pray a lot, I say, take baby steps, you know, try to figure out a time in your day when you can pray and then make it a priority. You know what I'm saying? What I'm doing right now is making it a priority each and every single morning that I take the time out to just spend with God, make it a priority, read your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Read your scripture. I just finished the book of Psalms and I actually, not Psalms, Proverbs. And I actually want to read Proverbs all over again because Proverbs just teach me about wisdom. Proverbs will tell you, a wise man do this and you do this and you're stupid. You're, you're stupid. Like that's pretty much what Proverbs is telling you. You know what I'm saying? Like Proverbs will read you your rights in being wise or being dumb. Figure out a routine that you can wake up and you can do every day and chase your dreams, whatever you want. Like I filmed a video the other day and I was talking about like people not chasing their dreams and stuff like that. And so many people were saying like, there's so many things that they wanted to do that they haven't done. People want to open restaurants. People want to work in hair salons. People want to learn how to do makeup. People there are so many people that just are sleeping on their dreams every single day. And it's so sad. And I am so grateful for where I'm at right now, but it wouldn't have happened if I didn't step out on faith and chase my dreams. It would not have happened. Let me do my lashes. I don't know how long this video is already or how much more longer it's going to be. I just had to step away from the camera a little bit to put on my lashes because I was trying to film a short form content so that I could promote my lashes. You guys know happiness cosmetics is my beauty brand that's the reason why i even talk about it so much that's the reason why i talk about it so much okay any brand that i'm talking about all the time it must be mine if a brand has me talking about them this much they gotta cut a check and they don't be wanting to cut no check these days they just want everything for free <laughs> you know what I mean? So that is the makeup tutorial for today. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I'm sorry if I was a little bit all over the place. I wasn't even prepared for this topic. I just knew that I wanted to sit down and do my makeup and talk to you guys. And then the topic just came out of my head of talk about life in your thirties, talk about, you know, things that you're going through. So that's pretty much it for this video. I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. As always, if you are new here, I hope you decided to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave. Comment down below you guys, interact with me. Let me know what videos you would like to see from me next. If you had fun watching this video and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye. I'm gonna add a little bit more gloss and I'm gonna go in with almond. This is a lighter color in case you wanna lighten up your gloss a little bit. My sister uses this combination all the time and I absolutely love it on her. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on myself. You just take the lighter color, pop it right in the middle, and then just work your way to blend it out. It's gonna make you look like you have powdered lips, but you gotta blend it out.